Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our recent trip to Penang, we found that Georgetown being the capital city of the island has quite a lot to offer. From its colonial era charm, to the delicious mouth-watering street foods, and everything in between. We are going to list down 8 things you can do when you are in Georgetown. When you first arrive in Georgetown, you'll notice all these colonial era buildings with its centuries old British architecture. And when you look at it from a map, the main historic site of Georgetown is concentrated within this zone that stretches from the pier all the way to the Comta Tower. This is where the British first established Penang as a colony and founded the city of Georgetown over 200 years ago. I would recommend picking up a tourist map and start exploring on foot because that way you'll get to fully immerse yourself with the skill and beauty of all the buildings. So this is the famous clock tower. We are on our heritage trail right now. I'm going to start with this spot here first. Right next to it is the Fort Convalis so and we're going to work our way through the heritage trail. In my opinion, the most interesting area to start would be at Fort Convalis as this is the oldest British building in Penang. And surrounding it is where you can find all the old administrative buildings like this city hall and this courthouse. There's also a free shuttle bus service called CAT that loops around the main streets of Georgetown and stops within walking distances from major tourist attractions. If you're too lazy to walk around, especially in Malaysia's hot weather, you could actually just take this shuttle and sightsee comfortably from the bus, which is totally what we did. Another attraction worth exploring is the Penang clan jetties. The jetties were built as floating villages in the late 19th century and are made up of seven different clans that can be identified by their different family surnames. You can actually explore all seven jetties, but the biggest and the most tourist friendly is the Chiu Jetty. You can find souvenir stores, boat tours, and even cafes to chill at. If you're interested to know more about the clan jetties, we have another video on that and we'll share the link in the description below. Street art hunting has been a popular activity and you can find many interesting street arts hidden between alleys and walkways. This street is called Cannon Street and this is like the history of why it's called Cannon Street. This is so cute. Many of the artworks portray scenes of the local culture and a little snippet of the past. One soya! Some of the murals are very famous and you could actually see a long queue of tourists trying to take a picture with it. While visiting museums may be one of the best ways to learn about the local history and culture, Penang also has a long list of non-traditional interactive museums that's meant to be fun and entertaining. These are museums like the 3D Art Museum, Glow in the Dark Museum, and our all-time favourite, the Wonder Food Museum. If you're a foodie, definitely check out this place, it will leave you hungry. And that's perfect because Georgetown is one of the greatest street food cities in the world. Even locals will travel from all over Malaysia to Penang just for the food. Most of the popular food spots here have been serving these mouth-watering dishes for many decades and some have even passed on the skills over the generations. In other words, these vendors are pretty much legends of street food. The best part is, street food here is really cheap. Another way you can enjoy all this street food in one place are hawker centres. And in Georgetown, there are quite a number of them around. These open-air food courts usually pop up in the evenings and have multiple mixes of food stalls set up along a street just like a night market. The thing we enjoy most about these hawker centres is that we get to try a variety of dishes all in one sitting. While going around in Georgetown, you'll most likely notice some decorated trishaws along the streets. Trishaws used to be a very common traditional mode of public transportation in the old days. Today, they're more like a tourist attraction and you could hire one for a short tour around the heritage sites or districts. If that's not your thing, you could also rent a bicycle from private rental shops or rent these Link bicycles using a mobile app. Right in the middle of Georgetown, you'll find the tallest building on the island called Comta Tower. 
you can get a ticket to visit the highest floor and get an interesting view of the entire city. Komta also has the largest indoor theme park in Penang. If you'd like to know more about it, we'll share the link to the website in the description below so you guys can go check it out. That's all we have for the list of things you can do in Georgetown. The city is only a small part of what Penang has to offer. There are so many other attractions and activities located all around the island that are worth checking out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like to watch more contents like this. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!